DC3DD is a forensic image acquisition and burning tool based on the GNU DD copying utility. DC3DD is not an independent program forked from DD, but instead an enhanced replacement maintained in parallel with DD. This alignment means that updates to DD are also applied to DC3DD. The name DC3DD is short for Department of Defense Cybercrime Center DD. This name was given by the author of DC3DD who was working for the DC3 when DC3DD was created. DC3DD operates under the same idea as DD in that it copies data from one location to another and performs data conversions and reformatting as specified. DC3DD expands on the capabilities of DD by the ability to perform hashing as data is being acquired, saving acquired images into multiple files, splitting acquired images into multiple files, wiping and verifying media, and displaying an in-process progress indicator. The current version of DC3DD is very recent, and DC3DD is well maintained. Kali 1.0 includes an earlier release of DC3DD that can be manually updated from its software repository. Before we go on, I must warn you that this demo is destructive to the contents of digital storage media. If you accidentally copy an image to the incorrect target device, you can unintentionally and likely irreparably destroy data that you wished preserved. For this reason alone, I advise always using a hardware write blocker on your source media as a failsafe, even in non-forensic situations, in case you were to make this mistake. A single protocol that emphasizes maximum safety for handling all disk imaging scenarios is best. In this demo, we will see how to use DC3DD to acquire an image from a device to one or more files, burn an image to one or more media devices, perform a device-to-device -device copy, split the output of DC3DD into multiple files, and how to hash and verify the raw images produced by DC3DD. I will assume that you have already watched my demo of the DD disk copying tool. In this demo I will show you the improvements that DC3DD provides over DD. DC3DD uses the same command line syntax that DD does, so this demo should look familiar to you. If you are specifically looking for a demo of the media wiping capability of DC3DD, I cover that in the Digital Media Wiping Tools clip in this module. First, let's run through the basic acquisition and burning operations using DC3DD. To copy the entire contents of a device to a raw image file, the parameters are identical to DD. Just like with DD, the IF option specifies the input device, and the OF option specifies the output file or device. DC3DD allows specifying multiple OF options for saving the same acquired image to multiple files or devices. You can also see two of the improvements over DD is the in-process progress indicator and the ability to save the displayed report of the imaging operation to a log file. Burning an image file to a block device is also performed the same as with DD. And yes, you can burn to multiple output devices simultaneously. Once again, be very, very careful when performing any operation that writes to files or devices. If you want a single acquired image to be split into multiple smaller files, with DD you need to use the Linux split command. With DC3DD, you only need to specify the threshold size of each part in bytes and the format of the file extension used for each image file part. The OFS parameter is used to specify the output file format for each piece. The format can be numerical using zeros or ones to indicate the starting number, left padded with zeros, and incremented by one, or alphabetic and incremented starting from the letter A. The OFSE parameter specifies the split threshold in bytes. The letters M or G can be used to indicate megabytes and gigabytes. The OF and OFS options can be used multiple times to produce multiple output files. You can join the multiple parts into a single file by streaming them as input to DC3DD. DC3DD can produce hash values of the image it produces while acquiring the image. This command line acquires an image, 
hashes it using the MD5 hashing algorithm, and logs the results to the files backup.txt and backuphash.txt. Note that the hash values are displayed and are saved to both the specified log and hlog file. However, the hlog file contains less information than the log file, so I only use the log file option. Note that the hash values are displayed and are saved to both the specified log and hlog file. However, the hlog file contains less information than the log file, so I only use the log file option. If you prefer the image file to be hashed after it is acquired rather than during the acquisition, specify the output file using the HOF option. Use the HOFS option to hash each part of a multi-part image file. Multiple different hash values can be produced by specifying multiple hash options. In this command line, the MD5, SHA-1, and SHA-256 hashes are specified. DC3DD can verify that an image was burned to a device correctly using cryptographic hashing. By specifying the output using the HOF or HOFS options, you can instruct DC3DD to hash the output burned to the device. If you want to hash compare the entire input and output, use the FHOD option. In this demo, we saw how to acquire and burn images using DC3DD, how to make multiple copies of a media device, how to have DC3DD split acquired image data into multiple physical files, how to reassemble those multiple parts into a single image file, how to hash entire images, including block hashing, verifying that the input and output of DC3DD is identical, and how to create a log file in the operation of DC3DD. If you are wondering whether you should use DD, DCFLDD, or DC3DD for your disk imaging, I will say that I prefer always using DC3DD. The exception is if I am on a Linux or Unix box that does not have DC3DD installed, then I must fall back to using DD.